In the year 356 BC, in the heart of ancient Macedonia, a boy named Alexander was born to King Philip II and Queen Olympias. Even as a child, Alexander was different. Tales of his early bravery and leadership were whispered in the court corridors, his days were filled with lessons from the finest minds of the time. The renowned philosopher Aristotle himself tutored him, shaping his thoughts and ideas. But it wasn't all philosophy and rhetoric for young Alexander, he was also rigorously trained in the art of warfare by his father's finest generals, honing his skills and strategic acumen. This was no ordinary upbringing. Alexander was being groomed for greatness, prepared for a destiny that would forever change the course of human history. The stage was set for a young man, groomed to conquer, and destined to create an empire that would leave an indelible mark on world history. Alexander's rise to power was swift and decisive. With the sudden assassination of his father, King Philip II, Alexander found himself thrust onto the throne of Macedonia at the tender age of 20. But he was not a boy to be trifled with. He was a king and he would prove it to the world. He began his reign with a series of campaigns that showcased his strategic brilliance and unyielding courage. The Battle of Issus was one such event, where Alexander's forces, vastly outnumbered, managed to outmaneuver and defeat the powerful Persian army, led by King Darius III. His victory at Gaugamela was yet another testament to his genius, a battle fought against overwhelming odds, but won through superior strategy and the indomitable spirit of his men. But Alexander's ambitions were not limited to mere battles. He sought to carve out an empire, and so he did. From the shores of Greece to the sands of Egypt, from the peaks of the Himalayas to the depths of the Arabian desert, Alexander's empire grew, swallowing whole civilizations and spreading Hellenistic culture across the known world. His conquests were not just of land but of minds and hearts too. He adopted the customs of the conquered, respected their beliefs and in return was revered as a liberator, not a conqueror. In a span of just over a decade, Alexander had carved out one of the largest empires the world had ever seen. However, Alexander's reign, as impactful as it was, came to a sudden end. The circumstances surrounding his untimely death in Babylon in 323 BC remain shrouded in mystery. Some say he succumbed to a fever, others whisper of poison, yet whatever the cause, his passing left a power vacuum that plunged his empire into a maelstrom of infighting and chaos. His generals, once faithful comrades, turned against one another, each vying to seize a piece of the vast territories Alexander had conquered. The empire he built with blood, sweat, and strategy fractured, its unity crumbling as swiftly as it had been forged. But let's shift our focus from the turmoil that followed his death to the enduring legacy he left behind. Alexander was not just a conqueror, he was a disseminator of culture. As he carved his path across continents, he spread Greek ideas and traditions, seeding the growth of Hellenistic culture. This fusion of Greek and local customs would leave a profound impact on the arts, philosophy and sciences, influencing civilizations for centuries to come. Moreover, Alexander's name graces more than 20 cities, a testament to his vast influence and the indelible mark he left on the world. The most famous among these is Alexandria in Egypt, a city that would become a beacon of knowledge and learning. Even in death, Alexander's influence was far-reaching, shaping the world in ways that still resonate today. So, who was Alexander the Great and why is he so famous? Let's take a moment to recap the extraordinary life of this historic figure. Born into royalty, Alexander's early life was shaped by the rigorous education and training he received, preparing him for his future role as a ruler. His rise to power was swift and decisive, marked by his strategic brilliance and relentless ambition. Alexander's expansive empire, which stretched from Greece to Egypt and as far east as India, is testament to his military prowess and leadership. Yet, his life was cut short, his sudden death, leaving behind a power vacuum and a legacy that continues to be debated and studied today. His influence transcended his own lifetime, shaping the course of history in profound ways. Alexander the Great was a warrior, a king, and a conqueror, whose life continues to fascinate us over two millennia later. He was truly great.